Yes, Magnus Carlsen just got destroyed in 30 moves. He's world number one. Who could do that to him? Well, it's Jose Martinez with white, aka Jospam, a man that Kramnik continually accuses of cheating because he's so strong online. Magnus with black here. It's titled Tuesday, Tuesday 9th of April, just gone. It's a cracker of a game. Why am I bringing you it over the board? Well, this thing here is stunning. The most beautiful chessboard I've ever played on. It also connects online. It's by Chestnut, who are kindly sponsoring this video. Link in the description. You've just got to get your hands on one of these. So Jospam, he opens with E4 here. Magnus goes G6. Jose is like, thank you very much. I'll take the center. Magnus keeps coming with the knight, and this is the Norwegian defense, or North Sea defense, and he's gagging for you to push forward. Kick his knight. I dare you to go G4. This is all very playable. He calls it the Norwegian rat. Magnus loves these kind of positions. So Jospam doesn't go for that stuff. He just maintains his center. Keep the foot soldiers there, control these squares and the space. So Magnus, he strikes at the center here with pawn to C5. Jose just covers, really nice chess. Magnus keeps developing. Jode, Jose does the same. Both players get the king to safety, as we can see here. And now Magnus, he's got to take some action in the center of the board. So he takes on d4 here. Pawn recaptures, and he calmly brings a knight out into the battlefield. Jose does the same. Look at the central control he's got. Magnus has got a fight back, so he pushes forward with this pawn d5 move. Gives the space here. Where is this one headed? Don't come here. So passive. Here, you're losing a pawn. So Magnus comes this way. A knight on the rim is dim, but we'll see where he's headed. H3 first by Jose, right? He doesn't want bishop g4. This is an important defender of the center. So Magnus, in response to h3, he goes f6. He'd love to undermine the base of the pawn chain, but he's got no c pawn. So he goes for the forward part of it. We see captures. Of course, you don't take with the pawn. g4 comes. Knight is trapped. So instead, Rook takes, supporting knight f4, right? So what does Jose do? Very natural idea. Rook e1, you hit that open file, but also after knight f4, which comes on the board, you've given a retreat square. The bishop slides back, but it's ready to slide into action later in the game. Magnus to play, h6 on the board. He wants to support the knight, but his king is getting drafty. Bishop e3, nice developing move, looking to connect the heavy pieces soon. G5, Magnus thrusting forward, covering his steed here, and now we see some action start to kick off. Because after rook c1, hitting an open file, it's where rooks belong, Magnus Carlsen blunders terribly. He picks up this bishop to develop it, but he should put it here on this square, defending down towards his king, which has been exposed when it lifted the kilt. Now, yes, you line it up with a rook, not pleasant, but it's necessary. Magnus, however, puts it here on f5. It opens up a tactic. Can you find the shot for white here? And of course, Jose finds the move. What a player he is. <clears throat> So well done if you found the start to the combination of bishop takes on f4. You're removing the defender of this d5 pawn because yes, the follow-up move which then comes is knight takes on d5. Fantastic stuff. Because if the queen recaptures, this one which was sat at home chilling with dad now re-enters the game. You're scything down this diagonal, queen and king are dead meat. So you cannot touch this knight with the queen. The rooks hit on f6. So Magnus slides to d6 here. 
pressures this knight in the center and the tactical stuff just keeps flowing from Jose. I love this. He could play knight takes f4, good move, but instead he plays the far more swashbuckling rook takes on c6. Fantastic move because if pawn recaptures, not played, then you've removed the defender of e7, you check and you're about to win this undefended bishop on f5. It is absolutely game over. So where are we? Knights on d5, rooks here, pawns here. We don't see rook captures, uh, pawn captures rook. Instead, Magnus chops off this knight here. Now you do have to take care of this rook. So Jose retreats, just gets it back to the start. Bishop c4, still a threat right. So Magnus sidesteps with his monarch and now queen b3 pressuring light squares even more and coming off the defile pressure never nice when a rook is lined up with your queen so this rook steps back we'll see magnus's idea in just a moment because after bishop d3 trying to uh, get this light squared bishop off the board get rid of the bishop pair and access these swiss cheese light squares magnus then slides to b6 this was one of his points queen is hit Queen a3, staying with the bishop here. Now we see an exchange. Queen recaptures. It does allow Magnus to crash through on b2 here, which he duly does, looking for counterplay, but watch this flurry of a finish from Jose. He starts with rook e6. Knight e5 was also a great move. Magnus goes rook b6. He wanted to stay active, but this is such a monster. I mean, look at the king. It's naked over there on the queen side, aka naked, right? So the rook's double over here. This one supports its brother. Now this one comes off. No longer two towers, but one tower still good. Magnus under fire here, and after rook c8 going for some active counterplay of course here we see the knife getting twisted by jose because after knight e5 horrendous threats around the king king g8 was the best move but magnus missed it what did he play instead he took off this knight very natural idea of course because you get rid of it and then you can try and defend yourself but there's a problem he missed the swish and zoo which Jose now chucks in, in a whispered voice, and Magnus is toast, because the king has to sidestep here. If you come to g7, the queen comes crashing through, right? So the king comes to g8 by Magnus. Now the check anyway, king f8, pawn captures bishop, and Magnus Carlsen resigns the game. There's this devastating mating net. You know, let's play a nothing move like a6. Now you check, king f7, and how about that? Finishing it with a pawn move. And if instead of a stupid move, you actually try and run with the king, well, now you can still check. The king comes here. Sorry, let me back up. Not the best line. Queen f5. Let me remind myself. Cut the king's escape. Critical. Yes, you can check. King h2. But where's the follow-up moves? You can keep stepping away with the king. This is best. Then you check, however, and you're winning material. And with it, the game. Nothing left to play for, right? Devastating game by Jose. He's won like two or three in a row against Magnus now. What a guy. I hope you enjoyed. Smash subscribe if you did and check out the link below. Only getting the discount with the Epic Chess Code. Truly an exceptional board. I love it. And you can connect and play online as well against, uh, as against engines and stuff. Really great bit of kit. Thanks a lot and I hope to see you all again soon. Cheers.